Coach, uh, it just it kind of seemed like this one followed a lot of the same script of uh, the Colorado game. You, you guys fight back from an early deficit. You're only down three in, uh, going into the in the fourth quarter, but then uh, they just kind of pull away a little bit late with maybe some extra legs, some extra you know juice offensively. What do you kind of think um, is the biggest reason for that, and how do you rectify it? Yeah, I mean, again, I, I just think our our we're just not getting ourselves in very good position offensively to be as strong as we need to be for 40 minutes. And that's a little bit on, you know, give a a Utah team that I thought was fantastic tonight. I thought they were defensively just really disruptive and um, bothered our guards a lot. Uh, I thought that was, that really took us out of, of some, just the rhythm that we need to play with. I thought that was the biggest thing. I thought their defense was really good. And a little bit underestimated. I thought we'd be able to run stuff better and get the spots that we needed to. Um, so, I mean, I just think it's that. I, I think they're physical. Uh, they speed you up. They take the ball out of your guard's hands a little bit. They don't give you any easy baskets. You know, we hung with it a little bit. And then where we had some advantages or where we got good looks, we just didn't make some shots. So, um, but I think that has a lot to do with, you know, the, who they have on their team and how they defend. and how they disrupt uh, shots that you get. They beat us in a lot of ways. They, they Obviously, they're, the way they spread, they can score points in a lot of different ways. I think it's it's a hard team to to scout in a day. And I think they fall on that second day uh, where, you know, you really need to have a good plan and your kid's in good spots on the floor. And obviously, we didn't have that very well. So just give them a lot of credit for how good I thought they played. You know, I think the one thing that stands out as well, 16 turnovers. I think they convert that into 24 points. It kind of seems like that was maybe one of the big factors. What do you guys have to do to, to secure the ball better? Because, you know, obviously without Charlize, you know, it's you're, it's tougher to find offense, and then it's really tough when yeah, you turn it over 16 times. Yeah. I mean, we just won't win any games with that kind of those kinds of numbers. I mean, just a, it was a bad game by Bella on ball handling. I mean, I, I, I hate to say point her out, but we can't throw it. And, and a lot of people, we, uh, it was a bad game for guards to insist on getting handoffs when they were de- denied. That puts the, the post in a really hard spot, so the post tries to hand it off anyway. Alex got in trouble that way. I put a little bit of that on the guards. Uh, we don't need to demand the ball, we need to cut. But the second we cut, then we threw it there, and that wasn't a good choice. So, uh, again, it's a credit to them and how they guarded our guards that, that – you know, now we've got our post and ball handling situations, and they're usually pretty effective there. They weren't very effective tonight, and that's top to bottom. And um, again, um, we've got to either find a way to be better and make better decisions with our posts in, on the perimeter, um, but at the same time, we got to get guards that, that play better than that. And um, 16 is too many. Um, no one likes to have turnovers. But again, it, it, it comes down to us just not getting our posts, the touches that they needed where they needed it. And that falls on me. What was kind of the message in the locker room after the game? Just kind of, you know, to, you know, I'm sure to, to motivate the team because there's still a lot of games to be played, but then also to, you know, kind of say this is, this is what it is now. You know, do you still feel like you have to tell them, you know, Charlize isn't walking onto the court, you know, next week? It's, this is what life is going to be the next six weeks without her. Yeah. Well, I thought Charlie's had some good comments too uh, for our team that she they they needed to hear from her perspective of of looking at us and and watching our body language and from the bench and and then when things went bad and I think that's a that was that was great to hear um, of of be, being able to handle adversity and stick together a little bit better and show better body language, so I love that came from her a teammate. Um, and I, again, I think we talked a little bit about just um, the turnover situation. I think we, we know that, but again, we held this team. I mean, they, they scored 73 points. Maybe they didn't have to work very hard, but they, we, it was hard to, I think this is hard for young players to defend. Utah, Utah Peely, how they spread the floor. Uh, they can all shoot the three. Um, the scheme behind how we wanted to guard the three-point line clearly wasn't a good one for us. So it was really more about we're going to learn a lot from this, we're going to grow a lot from this, and just the need for our younger players to want to be in these battles and to want to grow and want to learn because we really have got to depend on, you know, some bench to come in and, and fill some gaps and not, you know, we can't be, we can't play these 
some of these guys into the ground, which we kind of did this weekend with Tara and LA and, and, and uh, uh, AT. So just got to get more production. There's nine healthy. We got to get more production out of everybody, you know, and, and so everything's on the table for us right now. How would you characterize your bench's response to this weekend and what do they need to do going forward? Yeah, I mean, I think it's really going to be some, you know, soul searching a little bit. I, I don't, again, I think Jenna was a little bit feeling bad. She had a little viral something on, on Friday. So I thought she bounced back and gave us some pretty good minutes today. Got to get more out of Kira. Got to get more, you know, Alex has got to just get comfortable and, and find the spots on the floor where she can score and get good looks for us. I still feel like she's kind of hanging out in areas where uh, instead of uh, being a big post presence. So we, we've got some size, we've got some depth in the post. We've just got to be more effective at using our post. And that's including Bella, B, Tara did some th good things in the post. We've just got to be more effective. When all else is breaking down, we've got to be able to throw the ball in the post and they can score it. And what can you say about those good defensive moments you had from Tara, from Bella? Yeah, I thought Tara was, chased things and used her size and, and length. I thought Bella was was really good. Again, we I don't know how many times we played 25 seconds of good defense and then they got a wide open three. So they're just, they make you pay for the mistakes that you make. And again, I think, you know, first time you've ever seen these and we have a lot of new players, first time you ever see this style, it's it's tough to, to defend. I think we can be better the next time, but credit them. I mean, it just felt like we were getting you know, everybody was hitting us. Like, you know, Palmer hasn't been hit scoring the ball very well, and she steps into, you know, she's two of three from three. So, um, you know, 13 of 28 made made everything that they did pretty effective. So, we got to we got to regroup and be better. And then going into the half, at makes that more than half court shot. <laughs> what was that moment like for you? Oh, just happy. I mean, I just the fight to come back after being down. I think we were down 13. I mean, that's, that's the potential of our team. It's just where do we find those stable, you know, yes, we can get scoring from this area on the floor or this person. And, and we're, again, those, a lot of those moments and times that we counted on were Charlize. So we've got to fill those gaps with, um, you know, Tara's becoming a really good offensive player. I think our guard game is, is, is an area where we can get more, you know, points and, um, and I know our post can, can help us more. Uh, Coach, with obviously Alyssa Peely, one of the best players in the Pac-12, and I thought that Bella did a pretty good job neutralizing her on offense. What was the game plan to kind of stop her and not let her just take over the game like she often does? Well, I mean, again, because you, you don't want her to score, you create some, miss, you know, some wide open threes on the perimeter. So you might be keeping her from scoring twos but someone else is on the backside scoring a three. So there's a lot of, that's why they're so effective. And it was Bella. I thought Bella did a great job in the first half. Um, we lost her a little bit, Peely, and got another three, I think, in the second. Um, you know, but she is an amazing player. And she's learned how to, obviously, every phase of the game, shooting the three, scoring, you know, at the rim. Uh, but she doesn't seem to get herself in trouble too much. She keeps it the game like she knows who she is and she knows how to be effective. And I just thought that was amazing. So credit to her, uh, really effective game. Um, and someone you have to game plan for, but at the same time, the second you put too much emphasis on her, because she's going to get hers. She got 15 and we'd really try to s limit that. Then all of a sudden, you know, you're giving up threes. Uh, Coach Tara mentioned uh, there in the fourth quarter when they kind of pulled away that there was a little bit of a lack of communication. She felt like uh, you guys lost your legs without having Charlize and being that leader. Um, who do you look to to try and be that defensive kind of voice that you guys needed? And how do you kind of make sure that um, those girls don't, you know, lose their air that late in the game? Yeah, I mean, I've just got to find ways to get other people on the floor. Again, I keep saying that we need to, we're going to have to play big. You know, I've got to get Alex and Jess in there at the same time and even B and, and maybe throw in some zone a little bit more just to save our guards so that they're not just gassed in the fourth quarter. And again, on a back to back on a Saturday after having to give so much on a Friday emotionally, I mean, that was a, that's a tough turnaround. It's a tough ask for anybody. So 
and again, I'm going to keep saying it, Kira needs to continue to grow her game and, and give some minutes to us. Um, but the same stuff is that, you know, I think we fell apart a little bit offensively and had some turnovers late when we needed to know exactly where we were going to get our points. And we just didn't get those points. And we didn't, you know, we're not producing very many rebounds, offensive rebounds. And then with Cal coming in here on Friday, uh, when you guys were down there, Charlize kind of had to take over just to get you guys to OT. Obviously not having her now, what do you want to see differently in that game? You know, Charlize took over, but we also played almost the entire first half without her. With her, you know, she got cut and was out. And I think we were leading at half, maybe by two or right there. So, I mean, that was the first glimpse of our potential you know, with Charlize on the floor, not on the floor, not something we wanted then and certainly not now, but this is what we are. And so, I mean, again, I talked about it. It's, it's an opportunity to, to be in a bigger role, every single player on our team. And I think Tara's taking advantage of that and stepping in. Uh, I think AT will get stronger and more efficient as she gets more playing time and get her, gets her legs back. And LA is just going to be a fantastic player for us. But every time she plays somebody like Utah, she doesn't know what to expect. And then it hits her in the face. And, you know, you hope next time we play her, she's a little bit more prepared. So I'm, I, I just expect, you know, I expect Bella to want to dominate. That doesn't always mean just – but she's got to score with her back to the basket. I thought she got some great looks tonight. I thought she was more effective in her offensive game. But again, we, we got four people in double figures. We just don't have quite enough offense. B, I want to continue to get her some good looks. We've just got to, we got to produce a few more points than we're doing right now. You mentioned kind of, you know, Utah's, it was tough just because you had one day to prepare for them, one day to really scout them. How hard is it even when you look at someone like Peely, who is kind of a unicorn in the sense that you just don't see players with her physicality, her smarts, her ability to shoot, and just her overall skill. There's not really anyone you can like say, okay, this is how we defended this person. That's how we defend Peely. There just isn't really anyone to compare her to. Exactly. <laughs> I mean, and again, they've they've she's she's on a in a great system for her because you know you you give her room to operate. So people have to pick their poison. Come double team her, where she's great, got great hands and can get the ball out. Or um, again, she's not forcing anything. She doesn't have to. Where we might have Bella might force something because she kind of has to for us. You know, Peely can just pick and choose and kind of – she's just like a wise old, you know, owl. She just kind of watches, 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 and then just slices and dices you for, you know, six straight points or something. So, really good credit to her. But, I, I you know, the, there's a lot of confidence on their team when you've got those stretch other four players. Everybody on the floor can, can shoot it, and it gives her a little bit more room to operate. And – their system is hard. They can swing the ball from side to side. And, you know, they, they, they do some really good things to give her great looks. Some relief that after the game in Salt Lake City, you finally uh, don't have to deal with her anymore after what seems like 15 uh, years in college. Well, I guess that's someone else's yeah, league now. But, yeah, I'm, you know, good for her, though. Good for her and good for them. And I hope they kind of get back on track. I can't – I don't – you know, they're a really good team. And we just played three ranked teams. And – you know, they're really good. So uh, I wish them well and hope they, they go a long way. All right. Thank you. Let's go. Go Cougs.